Outgoing President Uhuru Kenyatta doesn't need to physically attend his successor William Ruto's swearing-in event, former Minister Franklin Bett has revealed. Bett points out that while Uhuru should be a gentleman enough to do it, he might try not to because of the enmity between him and the man who for 10 years served as his deputy. He notes that even so, Ruto will still be sworn in as president with or without Uhuru in accordance with the constitution, and will be handed the instruments of power, including the ceremonial sword. Bet says that the instruments are in the possession of the Kenya Defense Forces, and will easily be handed to Ruto by the Speaker of the National Assembly if Uhuru boycotts the event. The former Burity Member of Parliament and State House Controller adds that this can also be done by the KDF Chief of Staff or the Attorney General. He has also asked ODM leader Ayla Odinga to accept defeat and move to other things, reminding him that not conceding doesn't make him a winner. He has further disagreed with the leader, who is the Azimio presidential candidate, for moving to court to petition Ruto's win without tangible evidence, further embarrassing himself.